don't even want to bother attacking with you guys. Just to like, you know, not have the animations go through. You should go with Blizzard just so it hits everyone. Because Nash is so fast that he'll get the hit at the start, but you, Mia, will not. This out. Mia's like the slowest one here. Playing on streaming Lunar 1 and 2 back to back? No, I already did Lunar 2 on the channel. I didn't do that game super long ago. There's like no shot of that happening. Check this out. It's been three years since I played this game. It's been like a year and a half since I played Lunar 2. I'm not saying it's impossible to play Lunar 2 Eternal Blue again, but it, it wouldn't be for a while. The reason this is happening is because my playthrough is old and dated, and also just because it's been three years. But mostly the former. Lunar 2 does not need an update. That playthrough is still really new. Relatively new. That was like 2022. Like, it doesn't need an update. I played both games twice now. Well, this is my second Lunar Silver Star Story playthrough, so essentially now I played the games twice. This is this is the second playthrough of Silver Star Story, and this will reaffirm... Even though I still like Lunar 2 more, but this will reaffirm that. Now I can say like, hey, I played them both twice. Although one day I'll check out the Sega CD versions because I'm really curious. Check this out. Specifically for Silver Star, I don't know how different Eternal Blue's CD version is. Silver Stars is apparently very different, though. But I Power Slash. I'm not thinking right now. By the power of Alfina. But, um, I'm, the next time I play Lunar is probably going to be the CD versions, most likely. But they wouldn't be for a while. Because I want to play the CD versions, and I also want to play Silver Star Harmony, which is the PSP version of this game. I want to play, like, all the versions, because I'm a Lunar super fan. And they refuse to make more games. I would just say I played, eventually, every single Lunar release. Wait, guard with you. Yeah, I'm guarding. Okay, perfect. I wasn't sure if I guarded with Alex. Check this out. Alfina, lend me your power. Lunar 2 is better. You should play Lunar 2. It's a better game. This game is still great, but Lunar 2 is like, I can definitively say it's better. Gameplay is like, uh, the, well, gameplay is like basically the same, but the roles and stuff is improved. The crest system is really fun. The only thing, arguably, that Lunar 1 does better is, first of all, Null is a better companion than Ruby. And the second thing is like, the, the, the story of Lunar 2 is like, Probably better than Lunar 1, but the villains of Lunar 1 are better than 2. Other than that, Lunar 2 is a better game. 
proceed further, you must demonstrate your mental fortitude by answering my question. People who rely entirely on force shall ultimately be destroyed by force. What? We can't use force? Calm down, Kyle. If you had listened for once, you'd known he didn't say that. Please continue, Damon. But the person who controls force can't avoid it altogether. What controls force? What kind of game is this, old man? Even I know the answer to that one. Come on, Alex. Let me handle this. I don't think this is a question that Kyle can answer. She's right, Alex. You can't place our fate in the hands of this brain-dead brigand. Don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong, Nash, or you might get it cut off. I'm down, you two. Alex, this is your call. I mean, like... I trust you, Kyle. I'm gonna trust you. Let's give Kyle a chance. Ha! You see that, Nash? Us real men stick together. Okay, old man. Are you ready for the answer? Here it comes. You're incorrect. I had a feeling that was wrong, but I wanted to trust Kyle. Can't say I'm surprised, Kyle. Are you starting to understand what Damon said about Force? Let's hope he does. I don't think he survived smacking into that magic barrier again. Jess, save the lecture until my hearing comes back. If it comes back, oh. Uh, not that I wouldn't mind seeing that spectacle again, but are we ready for the real answer? Let's hear your guess, Nash. The answer, Damon, is skill. Skill controls Force. Okay, choosing doesn't matter. Like, you still- they still answer the question right. It's just like you can get a funny little interaction if you get it wrong, I guess. You are correct. You may proceed. Like, we wouldn't have seen Kyle get bodied like that if we didn't pick that. Good to see you come through once in a while, Nash. That was quite impressive, Nash. Thank you, Mia. But it really was an easy question. At least for me, anyway. You just got lucky, Magic Boy. And I guarantee it's gonna run out soon. Don't be grumpy, Kyle. He got us past the barrier, which is more than you can say. Bite me? Check this out. Um, um... Yeah, honestly, Mel, I agree exactly. Par that's definitely one factor. I don't think that's the only factor, but I definitely feel like that's, uh, that's a big factor. Hero is a lot more of a protag- like a- like a standard protagonist with character. While Alex, they kind of went for like, a he's not silent because he has some lines, but he's essentially a self-insert, somewhat. Like, Alex doesn't talk too much, he doesn't have too many lines. Check they definitely out. wanted Alex to be more of like a silent protagonist, but he's not, because he has some lines. While Hero is more of like an actual established character. I don't think that's the only thing that goes into it, but that's definitely a big factor. Yeah, I can see that. Also, the themes, because Lunar 1, like, has... Like, Lunar 2 is, like, nothing groundbreaking, but it has less, like... Like, Lunar 1 is more about cliché tropes, which I'm personally fine with, but some people may not be, because it, it's a love story. While Lunar 2 is a love story between Hiro and Lucia, it, it doesn't really, like... It has a lot of other things, like, layers to its story. Like, they don't make the love story, like, the core... It, it's technically the story, but they don't make it, like, the core focus like this game does. Also, it's a little darker. They have more darker themes in Lunar 2, despite this game being pretty dark, especially with the Magic Emperor. Um... Who am I healing? Nash. Oh 
yeah, for sure. This game came out in 93. They definitely weren't cliche. I mean, like, your mileage may vary. I, I salute, ooh, this is a new move. I salute Lunar. They honestly do really good at avoiding some of the tropes. Check this out. Personally, I like the reason I like Lunar 2 more isn't because I like Hero more as a character than Alex. That definitely goes into it, sure. It's true that I like Hero more as a character than Alex, but that's not I wouldn't I wouldn't say that's the reason I like the game more, because Lunar 2 just does a lot of things better, period. There's a lot of things Lunar 2 does better. Also, Hero is my least favorite character in Silver in uh, Silver Star. In Eternal Blue. Like I still like Hero, but I like the others a lot more. Like Jean, Romfar, Lamina, um, Leo. Even Lucia. Hero is still really good, though. This game, they were kind of going for silent protagonist. It Was Alex silent in the CD version? Because, I, again, I haven't played the CD version. Was he silent in the CD version, though? Or was he the same as this game? Where he has, like, very little lines and he's somewhat silent. Because I can definitely see them being like they made him silent in the CD version, and in this game they gave him some lines to kind of add a little character to him. Check this out. He is quiet. Okay, so in the CD version, he's like by the book silent protagonist. But in this game, they gave him some lines. That honestly sounds like the route they went. Sage's clothes. Is for Nash or Mia? It's on Alex for some reason. Probably for Mia. Maybe it's for Jessica? It could be for Jessica, too, I guess. Yeah, it's for Jessica. Cool. Yeah, there's a lot of things Lunar 2 I like more than one. Again, the two things Lunar 1 does better are... Null in general is better than Ruby. That's first of all. I'll just say Null in general, as a character and also as a companion, gameplay-wise. And... I prefer the villains of Silver Star Story. Those are like the two things I'll give Silver Star over Eternal Blue. Not to say that Eternal Blue's villains are bad, because I think they're like, well enough. But if you were to ask me, I would say I prefer the villains in this game compared to Eternal Blue. But Eternal Blue's villains are like, they, they get their job done. Well enough. It does still have Galleon, so that's really nice. Also, I do like this Dame Inspire being like, hey, now we're using skills only. It really reflects the dungeon. Like, the answers reflect, like, hey, this is how you kill the enemies. Because now magic is worthless here because of the answer and everything. Like, the whole skill thing. It's kind of cool. Is there a Galleon best RPG villain? Best RPG villain? Up there. Best PS1 era villain for me? Yes. Galleon is the best. For me personally, the best villain of any PS1 game. Best RPG villain? He be top 10. Maybe even top 5.
Galleon's great, don't get me wrong, but like I have I like a lot of villains in games I play. So I have a lot to think of. Artorius comes to mind from Tales of Berseria. Honestly, I like Sephiroth. Sephiroth? Sephiroth's good, but like, I mean, Sephiroth's not like amazing to me. Well, you know. I have gone on record to say the original FF7 is like, I think it's overrated. I like it, but like, I don't love it as much as other people do. But the remake, oof, baby. Can't wait for Rebirth. Um, Kefka's also like solid. But again, there's other villains I would put over Kefka and Sephiroth, yeah. Kefka and Sephiroth aren't, like, the highs for me. Like, they're they're good enough, but, like, they're not... Like, oh, they're not, like, best villains ever for me. There's a lot of villains I would put over them. If we're talking Final Fantasy, give me Kuja any day of the week. Correct. I just want to keep fighting for a little bit. Maybe get Alex close to level 22. If not just level 22. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna let Kyle handle this. With a Sonic Riser. It is 14 and SP. But, you know, all good. Other villains I really like... A lot of Tales of villains come to mind. this on Kyle. You might as well use your Starlight too on Alex. Scoop Boots, thank you so much for following. Really appreciate it. Welcome to stream. Luca Blight from Suikoden 2. I unfortunately have not played Suikoden 2 yet. I haven't played any Suikoden game. I plan to. I was going to if the remastered has dropped already, but the remasters got delayed. So, yeah. I uh, haven't played them yet. I actually have them. I have them on my PS3. Like, I bought them for $5. But then they announced they're doing the remasters. So, I'm like, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till like, I can play the remasters. That man seems to be in a great deal of pain. He's clutching his stomach. Perhaps it's food poisoning. I haven't had that since the last time Jess whipped up a batch of x lax cookies. Hey, I thought they were chocolate chunks, okay? The overpowering stench might have been your first clue. That came later. What's wrong, Alex? Uh, nothing. Let's leave this sick little conversation behind and get on with things. We better find out what's really going- really wrong with the guy on the floor. Are you feeling ill, sir? He's not on the floor, he's standing. It's nothing. I'm busy, go away. Well, excuse us for caring. Don't worry about this guy, Alex. If he says he's okay, then he must be okay, right? Besides, there's already a staircase. Let's go. Wait just a minute. You're a priestess, aren't you? Well, yeah. Only a priestess of the goddess of Althena is allowed to wear these robes. It's your job to help people in distress, isn't it? So use one of those healing spells they teach you quick. What are you babbling about? When Mia asked you a second ago, you said it was nothing. That was then and this is now. Let the healing spell fly, sugar. 
Until I know the cause of your pain, I don't know what kind of magic to use. Please tell us what's wrong. My stomach just started hurting all of a sudden. Hmm, probably something you ate. What should I do, Alex? Help this guy out or just get back to finding the next door? <laughs> Let him learn his lesson, not nah, help him. This pain seems genuine, Jessica. Please help him. Come on, Alex. This guy's a jerk and I tend not to want to help anyone who yells at me. Please, Jessica. Alex wouldn't have asked if he didn't think it was the right thing to do. Okay, you're right. I should help him, regardless of his lack of social skills. Your actions were correct. You may proceed. You know that I am impressed by your performance thus far. That, that has to be, like, the easiest one. Who's gonna not... Like, if you're doing a trial, who's gonna not help someone? I'm not impressed by your last test, Damon. That wasn't fair. Young lady, you are hardly in a position to tell me what. I don't want to hear any excuses. I just want to tell you not to pull something like that again. Okay, let's go. Jess, your mood swings are more violent than the hurricane. What did you say? Nothing. Let's move along. <laughs> I love these characters. Hi, fight me. 